Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day 420 of Godcraft. We are on the industrial server and we're bringing back a new feature to Godcraft which is physical sign shops, well at least to the industrial server. Um, players didn't want like a sign system, the shop system mainly, they didn't want slash warp trade um, on our industrial server. They wanted as vanilla as possible and keep it that way. The next thing they didn't want was economy. They just don't like economy. They, 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 it's okay for the build world, but they just don't want it on the uh, industrial server. And so I talked to a few people and we've come to a really good agreement bring back physical shops again and the problem with that is it wasn't around for ages but I guess somebody brought it back from the dead and here we are so uh, it's a really really easy uh, plug-in to use there's a good configure uh, uh, config for it and everything um, basically I wanted to use refined iron but it wouldn't work which is our, our refined iron uh, but we can use the normal iron ingots so that's good so the, hold on to some more of those that'll have to be our main currency so I means iron and I think we're gonna do D for diamonds I think we're gonna offer diamonds too because a lot of people don't want to sell with iron they, they kinda just need it in diamonds also you know people want to buy sell kinda you know la 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 uh, so you guys can decide. Maybe you just want completely iron. Maybe you want to offer iron and diamonds. It's up to you. This is a gold example, um, but we'll get rid of the gold for sure. Uh, so to make a shop, you can't place a chest down and then the sign. You must make a sign first. And it uses damage values from the mod loader, which is great. So 246, 3, uh, and you must put it in the uh, brackets or whatever the squarey brackets are called. Uh, and that's solar panel right there, just to give you an idea. Buy one for 32i. We're just going to copy the other sign. Sell one for 30, uh, 64. Yeah, 64i. Now, you must capitalize your buy and sell. Hey, it makes it neat looking. And, uh, like, neat as in, you know, clean. And uh, if you don't, it messes up. Also, we're going to make it VIP too. After talking a bit, we decided to do that because one of the main reasons why Godcraft keeps going is because of our VIP system. I mean, we've been around for a year and we have a lot of VIP subscribers. They really, really help us. So if you have VIP 2 or VIP 3, you'll be able to use, like to create the shop system. But, like always, if you're not a VIP member, you can still uh, use the shops and stuff and buy and sell from other players. And, I mean, for, for a lot of people, that's fine. I mean, there's only a few people who really want to, you know, stock their own shop. So, you know, we, we offer that anyways. We're not total dicks for that. And, I mean, thank you for all the VIP subscribers we have because it helps both servers. And uh, you guys make, a, you know, a big difference. So, there we go. So, boom. It's created. So, we put a chest under it. And now the tr chest, like, I can't show you here, but it is, uh, again, protected just like the old system. You can put a uh, your locket on top of it if you really want to be a hardcore uh, security nerd there. So we'll put some uh, solar panels in here. So basically this system has only one uh, buy or sell and that's right click. Um, left click is uh, just information. So this will tell you how many uh, iron ingots are in the shop and it will tell you how many uh, shop items are in there. Now if you're using uh, industrial craft or a build craft or whatever future uh, mods we also add on here it's going to say mod loader MP item. But who cares? Ignore that. You already know the ID. The person is going to probably put a sign up top here anyway saying solar panels and you can completely just ignore that. So basically uh, we know what's in stock and we're ready. So basically, I want to buy from it. So all you do have to do is have iron in your hand. You must have iron in your hand. Um, and it'll do it in order like this. Uh, let me just go like, uh, let me do something crazy like this. So if I went in the middle here and right click, it'll do it in order in your inventory. But it will work fine. So you can just even have one piece in one slot. Um, anyways, this is what we do. We're going to right click it and this is going to buy us uh, one solar panel. Boom. So I had five there. I guess I'll do it again so you can see. Oh, we have to have it in our hand before we can do it. There we go. Now we have six. Um, now if I wanted to sell it, I can't go and uh, just you know sell it. So already this mod has a great protection feature. It accidental buying and selling of items. 
you have to be pretty derp to be wanting to buy it or wanting to say sell solar panels and accidentally buying it because you have iron in your hand because you're really just selling iron to me right so I mean you know hopefully people weren't too derp so you have the solar panel in your hand and boom right click and there you go you sold one month for 64 so uh, clearly <laughs> uh, I'm selling, okay, so yeah, see, I clearly, you can buy it cheaper than I'm selling, <laughs> you can sell, you can buy it for 32 and you can sell them to me for 64 so uh, clearly I'm ripping myself off on that shop, it really should have been 64 and 32 but it doesn't matter, you get the idea, uh, and it works great, from what I can see, uh, I, I can't even complain about it, now let's do something like crazy, you remember one thing you can't do with our current chess shop system is sell and buy more than 64, at least none of us seem to be able to get it working properly so let's do that let's do that ultimate test so this is my the test server by the way so don't flip out one of you're like ah oh, you just cheated there so we got to break the chest yeah you have to have the chest out of there first i know that may be annoying but um i guess that helps prevent people from trying to ninja these signs on top of people's chests as well so we're gonna go uh one that's stone and we're gonna buy one for one eye and we're gonna sell this is uh, actually, yeah, <laughs> so the signs are written not for the the seller, but for the buyer. So it's saying, I'm going to buy one for one eye. It's not, hey, I am the owner and I'm going to, uh, you know, allow people to, uh, oh wait, I'm confusing myself. Anyways, you get the point. So this is what the player is going to pay for buying it. So we're just going to say, uh, buy, oh yeah, buy one. We wanted more than that. We wanted 128. 128 for uh, 32i, but we'll do one i, I guess. And uh, oh no, two i. And then all we can do, we'll let players sell uh, 128, or we could do 256 for fun. 256 for let's just say one eye so we're ripping them off totally now we'll do two eye we'll just be a little nicer it doesn't really matter and uh, there we go so it goes down and we're gonna spawn a bunch of stone so one uh, take a bunch of stone one two three four five six seven eight and we'll just do a cross just to remember I'll just ditch all my other items here besides my iron so we can remember this we'll just keep 32 iron on me and here we go. So when we left click it, here it goes. It contains zero iron ingots and 576 stone. You can buy 128 stone for two iron ingots. So we're going to do this and boom. Oh yes, I forgot to right click. And there we go. We just bought it. And look at that, the two iron ingots. And let's do it again. Boom, we bought it again. And then we're going to try to sell it. So we're going to sell all four stacks for just one piece of iron. I'm going to, or no, two actually from the shop. Oh, I'm going to right click it. Oh, no, I bought more. Failure. Let's do it again then. Okay, so we're going to sell all those twice. So we're going to put the stone in my hand and right click. Boom. So we're going to get to 28 and boom. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the physical shop system that is coming to the industrial server. Very clean, very smooth, and it works wonders. Um, so our main currency is probably going to be iron. I'm considering adding diamond to the system as well. Uh, so all you do is change the I to D um, if you want to deal with in diamonds. But uh, you guys can tell me what you want. I know some people don't want uh, diamonds, period. Um, and it may get confusing because people may be thinking they're buying or selling it in a certain currency. I mean, the last thing I would want to do is not pay attention and buy, uh, or say maybe I'm selling a whole shitload of stuff to somebody and get a whole bunch of diamonds and I didn't even want diamonds. I mean, if that happened, that would suck a bit. So uh, maybe there uh, is a reason maybe we shouldn't have, uh, you know, a diamond currency at all. It should just be one currency and that be iron. Uh, iron is probably the most needed item in this whole mod. Uh, everything's based on iron. They even have their own uh, shop system, the trade mat which is really, really bad. And uh, it uses flat file saving, I guess, and etc., uh, etc., et or as far as I know. Uh, so we don't want to use something that would cause, you know, problems with the server. And uh, But anyways, my point is their currency is taking iron and turning it into coins and then using the coins to buy and sell. 
Yeah. But anyways, we can't use refined iron. I tried it for you guys, but the configs won't allow it. They only use names for some reason. I will try to request it from the author, but I mean, who cares? It's just iron. It takes two seconds to put them into refined iron. Um, but uh, yeah, I think this is a wonderful uh, demonstration of the... Uh, uh, physical shop system and uh, this will be coming in an industrial craft in the next day or so and uh, yeah thank you again for the people who do uh, VIP subscribe to Godcraft you guys really 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 help us help me out to run this I mean I I sit here day and night running this for you guys and uh, we have a wonderful community the industrial server is really really growing sometimes we have 20 plus online at once and this is a double whitelisted server so basically you must get accepted and whitelisted on the main Godcraft server and then you'll see the new section appear where you can apply to get onto the industrial server. So if anyone's interested in, you know, the the high tech, cool, you know, machinery we have and etc cetera, etc, cetera, uh yeah, you're going to have to uh check out uh the uh uh you're gonna have to first get whitelisted on the main server before you can do that. By the way, we added some advanced machines. Um and all of the machines are advanced now, and they don't make noises anymore. But uh, we have the induction furnace, which you saw before, which, you know, easy does that. And then we got the new rotary macer. Um, and this thing is badass. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. And it has two outputs now. That way, when you do a full stack of uh, ore, it'll, you'll get uh, both slots filled, so you're not wasting time. And then we got the uh, singular uh, singularity compressor. What do I have that can, can be compressed anyways? Herp derp. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Oh, I know. Um, maybe this works? I don't know. Or is that extractor? I think that's extractor. Uh, no, that was the I think. Okay. So we can compress uranium into bars. Look how fast that goes. And the extractor, eh, I don't know. I'm not really thinking well here. I don't know if I have anything I can really extract on here. Yeah, not a big deal. But you guys, uh, you guys get the drift, anyways. Uh, how it works, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, so that that really works well, and uh, huge updates hopefully coming soon. We're actually waiting for advanced machines to update to the newest version, and it'll fix a lot of the things like the suits and stuff. So that'll be good. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope this was a good video explaining how the physical shop system works. And, uh, yeah, our plan is to DJ, uh, I forget how his full name, I just call him DJ. That's all in my head. Um, is going to start it tomorrow night, uh, after he gets from work, uh, home from work. He'll probably need lots of glass, so if you want to, like, burn a bunch of glass and start saving up, I'm sure he would love you guys for that. Uh, basically, what he's going to do is he's going to uh, make a, a trade under the ocean from the never eat shredded wheat. Yes, from the west of trade, uh, west of spawn, and uh, spawn will get uh, like a, a new entrance, like uh, in the back of the bunker kind of thing. We'll get an entrance down into it. I guess I could type spawn in here. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot because I'm on the test server. So we'll probably uh, have a, a, an entrance to trade. Uh, either we go through these, these reactors doors and we, we redo the, the look of this or uh, maybe we'll just have another entrance on the sides here or something or maybe actually use one of these. We can have these open or something and then you can go around it maybe. I don't know. But either way we're going to have uh, it going down to the south and uh, it's hard to show you here but on the map there. It'll be way south in the ocean. Um, I guess I could use compass on this since this is my test server. Oh, now you're thinking. Yeah. Um, he's already been out here. So I think he said it's like you got like 30 or 40 blocks of ocean over here. Okay. Yeah. So I assume he won't. Okay. Come on. You know, I hate the compass. It's not as good as it used to be. Okay. So here we go. We got lots of ocean here. So he's probably thinking around in here somewhere or out here. Um, there's lots of space in the ocean anyways. And uh, it's going to be a dome. And uh, I think it's going to be 100% submerged underwater. I'm not 100% on that. Um, but uh, if you check the uh, industrial craft uh, forms, 
Again, it's only for whitelisted players that can actually see that section. Uh, you can see him starting the project there, and uh, you can put your feedback and you know information on that. Um, if you want to donate materials, I think probably the number one thing is just going to be glass. Uh, glass is easy to make. Just don't forget, you guys can use uh, the macerators and grind down uh, cobblestone to sand, and then take the sand and throw them in your furnaces, guys. And uh, if you stock up on all those, and then when he starts saying, you know, he's going to start it or whatever, or maybe there's going to be a, a you know a, a, a section where he'll store items, uh, I'm sure he'll love all of you for that. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and this was day 420 of Godcraft, and uh, yeah, love you all.